It's your boy, Sid. Welcome to the Dallas Cowboys for Life channel. Before we get started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button below. Thank you again for taking the time to watch this video. Now before we get started, I want to get a set up, I want to send a shout out to my fantasy crew. Only those who made playoffs, of course. First things first, I want to take, send a shout out to Killer's team, Sean, coming in first. The Fit Squad, my boy Leo coming in second. Come back, Ducky, Jermaine. Congratulations on third place. Fourth place. You know who's in the playoffs. Fifth, we got Dirty Birds McCaldo. Atlanta Falcons fan. So sad. Bills, Cyril. Congratulations on making sixth place. I'll mention seven and eighth. Even though they shouldn't get props. They didn't make playoffs, but I'll still mention them. We got Scorgasm Jesse. Man is always next year. And of course, iced up Kenton, who talked so much trash at the beginning of the season about making it. Didn't make it. Fellas, this is always next year. So now let's get down to business. Jerry Jones. I don't know where to start. Ugh. So Jerry Jones has come out and basically said, next year, Jason Garrett will be coaching in the NFL, just not for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, I personally don't understand the logic behind this. We should have fired Jason Garrett last year. We should have fired him three weeks ago two weeks ago, last week. Now, Jason Garrett is kinda gonna look good, but not because of Jason Garrett, because of those Eagles. The Eagles choked against Miami, which opened the door to the Dallas Cowboys still being relevant. I gotta admit, I was kind of looking into next year already and thinking, well, well it was a nice ride. Let's make the changes that we need to make. Let's get rid of Jason Garrett. And let's focus on next year. But once again, with the Eagles choking, opened up the door for Dallas. We could win. We can lose. Lose the next two games. Go beat the Eagles. Play Washington. Still make the playoffs with home field advantage. Thanks, Eagles. Now let's talk about tomorrow's game. We got a big game tomorrow. Chicago. We struggle against strong teams. Um, Dallas just ain't cutting it. But I don't blame the players. I, play, I blame the coaching staff. I blame Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones did one thing I'm happy about. I didn't see him much on the field this year. Stays up in his box, does his thing. Jerry Jones is the only owner that takes the time to meet with reporters after games. He'll come up with excuses. It's not this person's fault. It's not the coaching's fault. I still believe in my coaches. Then goes on his radio show and push down his couches which I don't get I, he's the only owner who has a radio show the only owner who takes the time to meet with the media after games doesn't even give the players a chance to speak to the media first or the coaches no 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 no. Jerry's got to be up in there first so this year is not a wash yet Tomorrow's going to be a tough game. Tough, tough, tough game. Um, that's got to step up. Offensive line is def definitely, definitely going to have to protect Dak. We're going to have to come out early. Put some points on the, on the scoreboard early. 
if we have a chance. Gonna be an interesting game. Wish you all the best, Cowboys. Thanks again for taking the time to watch. I'll be posting a video after game, letting you know my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts, post some comments below. I do take that time to read and respond. Once again, thanks for watching.